Um, another question from the audience? Yes. My question is oh, I got to tell you to wait for the mic. I always forget that part. Thank you. <laughs> My question is for Sid. Sid, it's been a long and, I guess, arduous, arduous journey since uh, Sammy and Rosie got laid. I've, yeah. been, I've been watching you there all the years. a couple of friends of mine. <laughs> My, my question was, um, in terms of preparation for the role of Tariq, uh, how much time was spent and what, what was sort of the uh, process for you with Ruba uh, prior to the film uh, commencing? What, what, what did it involve? I think that most, I mean, I mean, I'd love to say as an actor that I went, you know, for weeks, months to research someplace, I gained 60 pounds. <laughs> but... Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, I, Ruba, uh, some, with some directors, you know, some, you have to, uh, as a fail-safe, you stick on a funny moustache and you're going to be okay. Um, but with uh, Ruba, she, it was really about trusting her to make a, a, a space for us, uh, which she did. And we were then permitted to do whatever we wanted to do in that space. I know I'm getting a little esoteric, but it really is about creating the right environment for, an act, for actors. And... Um, Rupa sort of just, I don't think she really knows that she does this. She really does. If you ask her, what, you know, to pinpoint what on earth, she, what, what is it she's doing, I think she probably starts scratching her head. <laughs> but the fact is, she creates what, uh, you know, uh, uh, Brooke calls the perfect, you know, the, the, the sacred space. And uh, I, 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 Acting is, at that point, rel relatively simple, and I don't have to worry about the moustache, and I don't have to worry about 20 you know, weeks of research in some place. Um, we just start communicating. So, very little. Was it a relatively easy adjustment once you got to It was a very easy adjustment once I had this extraordinary <laughs> woman in front of me. Uh, to just start to just do exactly what it says on the tin, you know, and that's what uh, that's what I did. Did each of you always have the confidence in the script and its simplicity, or were either of you ever like, wait a minute, shouldn't we like jump in each other's arms at this moment, or shouldn't we? I mean, w did you have the same confidence that Ruba had? I, I well, I think one of the reasons I fell in love with the script was that it was distilled, that it was spare and poignant and uh, subtle. And I think, I don't think there was ever a moment where we said, I, I think I need to say something or I think we need to change this. There was very little that was changed from the script that we yeah, received. Absolutely. Very, very yeah. little, which is, another, is, is also rare, I think. Um, another question from the audience? Front, back. The microphone's ready this time. No? Oh, you can go again, sir, if you'd like. But, but you got to wait for the mic. <laughs> My question for you, Ruba. In terms of working with your cinematographer, establishing the style, uh, the texture, is a beautiful look. Um, how much of that uh, were you sort of involved in before getting to Egypt and then once you, once you got there? Is Luke here? My cinematographer. Luke. Oh, Luke's Hi, in the back. Luke. Yeah. Wow, excellent. Uh, I, Tell I've everybody been, who Luke is. Luke is my cinematographer. Luke He's Montpellier? like my brother. <laughs> 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 and um, we, I've worked with him for the last eight years on, on everything. And he and I spent a year talking about this and designing every single shot. I'd been to Cairo and he jumped into my brain and made that happen. And it was, we were always very specific. And you know, the thing about shooting in Cairo is that you can't have you can't, you were not afforded any mistakes. We knew that. We had 25 days, we had to get it, or we were toast. <laughs> so, so we were very prepared, and his, his energy and his passion, I, I, I could not have made this movie without him. Ruba, why is the age of the characters important? Why is this specifically to mature people and not 18 year olds? You know, I was very specific about that because it's, I think Juliet arrives to Cairo at a very specific time in her life. She's feeling l lonely, out of sorts, and sad, and and she's, she's just in a certain place in her life where her children have left the nest, and, and she's just, 
she always imagined that she'd have, that she'd get to retire with her husband one day and do all these things. And you know, we all we all do this. We we keep saying, in a year I'm going to go on that vacation, and two years I'm going to buy this house, and this and this. And then you reach this age where it's like it's not going to happen, and you know it's not going to happen, and that's what Juliet arrives to in Cairo. And I'm sorry, you can't, that you do not feel when you're 20. You need, it, it just, it's just so much more complicated and interesting and compelling if, 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 you know, it's you it, a life. woman in her If 40s. you're 25. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you're just, yes. <laughs> um, is it, is it, was it surprising to you when you did meet Ruba? How bang on she got that stage of life because she basically is 25. No. <laughs> um, yes. Well, that's part of falling in love with this script. Is uh, she did? She got it right. She got the tone was right. Uh, the 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 internal life of this character, which is very present when you read a script, was right. She did a lot, as spare as the script was, there was very little homework to do because what was on the page was very right and she did, I, she understood Juliet in a way, much more so, I mean I had to really rearrange myself to, to play this character just because I'm much more forward and uh, You're Southern. crazy and, <laughs> and Juliet is centered and quiet. And, um, woo! And, um. <laughs> That's just the beginning. <laughs> Where's that coffee? <laughs> um, but yes, I, I, I think she captured, um, the, the, the melancholia that sometimes can set in at a certain age. You know, when you, as also, when, as you get older, um, you, 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 you really worry about making mistakes more. And when you're, you know, 19 or 18, you say, ah, that doesn't matter what I do now. You know, I'll get arrested. Cool, it'll just be a mistake because I was young. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, at least I remember that particular <laughs> phase in my life. And, and somehow they become, your acts become more significant. And um, they, I don't think they need to be, to be honest, but they somehow do. And so there was a lot more at stake for these two, than had they been 16 or 20 or 25. Even 30 or 30, even 30 or 35. I mean, something happens in your 40s, in your late 40s. It you know, just, it does. I've been through it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going through it. <laughs> You're about to go through it. Um, yeah, question? Yes, uh, not really a question, just a comment. I had the good fortune to see the movie last night and really enjoyed it. Thank we you. We picked it without really knowing too much about it, except that it was Canadian and had you in it. <laughs> and uh, now I'm also in love with you. <laughs> so, thank you. thank you very much. It was a wonderful film. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank and now you. I'm also in love with you is going to be the great line <laughs> for the <laughs> festival this year for me. We have time for one more question from the audience, if anybody has anything interesting or a comment for our lovely guests. Can I ask you a question? Uh, it's, it's an easy one. Uh, and if you feel comfortable with raising your hand if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, then that leads me to October 9th, which is when you can see it here in Toronto. It's opening October 9th, Cairo time in theaters. It is a really fantastic movie, and it's taken this year's festival by storm. It's a thrilling time for them. A great pleasure for you guys to be able to hear what they went through to make this, and how really lovely it is for these wonderful stars to work with our homegrown Canadian talent, Ruben Yeah, he, Thank he, you guys he. very Thank much. You so Thank, much. You so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.